Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm doing a brief look at the new Xtix. E-X-T-I-X. -X. It's an LXQT Ubuntu distribution. And uh, I installed it. The install is a little bit different. I'll go through that with you in a minute. But um, one of the things that I found interesting is when you boot up, you see how it has the NVIDIA in the preferences menu, but when you click on it, basically tells you that you're not running the NVIDIA. Um, and so I had to go into Synaptic and install <clears throat> NVIDIA 352 uh, through Synaptic, which I just did. And so now I'm going to reboot uh, to see if my NVIDIA drivers are loaded up. So the NVIDIA setting software is installed out of the box, but it doesn't automatically pick up your, your NVIDIA graphics card, and it doesn't automatically install the driver. Now when I went looking for a driver manager, couldn't find any. Normally Ubuntu distributions usually have some driver mechanism to install your uh, NVIDIA drivers and Broadcom and things like that, but couldn't find any in x -Ticks. And so I uh, ended up having to uh, go into Synaptic and it was listed in Synaptic, the 352. So I did install it and now it's just a matter of rebooting. So I'll be right back with you and we'll see if we have the NVIDIA drivers installed after the reboot. Uh, be right back guys okay guys I'm back and let's take a look to see what we have so if I go into the menu and I go into preferences and I now have the 352.63 installed so that was easy enough the uh, NVIDIA settings uh, manager is installed but you have to go into Synaptic and install your driver so now that that's taken care of, let's let's uh, go over the uh, install procedure. Now I'm going to bring up a browser, and I'm going to see if I can locate the the menu for the. Okay, so let's see how to burn the ISO file. Okay, well, I think we should probably look at a different section of the website. And let's go to, let's go to DistroWatch. So, and let's just go to the main website. Oh, no database. Oh, well. Looks like their website has an issue. But uh, to make a long story short, there is a different procedure to uh, copying the ISO file to your USB and let's see if I can locate that for you let's see Well, he, uh, the developer says, I've installed the NVIDIA graphics driver in the LXQT version. That's not quite true. I had to install it myself. Um, and what you need to do, let's see if they have the, I don't see the command here, um, but on the main website, they have a couple of commands that you have to run at you know at the command line in the terminal to copy 
the ISO file to your USB and then you have to run the sync command and so uh, it's on the main website which evidently is down right now I did access it through distro watch earlier and I was able to uh, pull up the in the information on that uh, but right now they're website has a bad database connection and so it's not listed here but you'll need to go into the website once it's back up and pull up the information on the commands that you would use in order to make that USB um, you net boot and things like that are not going to do it so uh, it's a special command that they and they have it outlined very clearly it was just copy and paste and it worked fine but you'd have to get that from the their main web page once this database connection issue is resolved now they are running uh, LXQT uh, for accessories got a leaf pad is installed PC a man FM file manager vim a uh, web editor uh, education is just LibreOffice math uh, looks like they have GIMP and screenshot but uh, nothing nothing out of the ordinary really not bloated at all Google Chrome and then Thunderbird for mail office is LibreOffice uh, with math and office writer uh, nothing under other nothing under programming sound and video is just for zero and uh, SM player. I, I installed uh, GUVC View and Kazam. System tools, you've got the usual. I installed GDB uh, for a file that I needed. And let's see, you've got NVIDIA, as I mentioned, Synaptic, Open Box Configuration Manager, and then you've got your LXQT settings. There is a configuration center and I will open that up and let me go back to okay so you've got appearance date and time desktop notifications file association keyboard and mouse locale monitor power management session settings shortcut keys users and groups so it's got pretty much everything that you need you've got the uh, Hibernate, leave, log out, reboot, shut down, suspend, and a lock screen. Now, for the configuration manager, the LXQT configuration, it's not a whole lot here, but you've got appearance, desktop, uh, and this is desktop notifications. So you can select how you want them to look and where the notifications are going to appear on your screen. File associations, keyboard and mouse, shortcut, session settings, power management, monitor, locale. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Synaptic is included and NVIDIA now shows 352.63. That's, uh, that's nice. Okay, so Google is the browser. You've got a PC Man FM file manager for appearance. Let's see what we have. Uh, you've got Breeze, Windows, GTK Plus, Fusion for widget styles, Icon Themes, there are several different ones that you can select. You've got an LXQT theme, kind of like, um, this one kind of looks like a Numix type. There's a Dark Theme, Frost, KDE Plasma, Light, and system. The light theme it seems to be very nice. Fonts, cursor, uh, no cursor theme, just the standard. Uh, for icons, set up for, with elementary, but you can change to humanity, breeze, gnome, Ubuntu, mono, dark, and light. And as I said, you've got the widget style 
Breeze, Windows, GTK Plus, and Fusion. So I guess I would leave the Fusion along with the light LXQT theme. That gives you a, a very nice looking desktop. Uh, everything uh, appears to be configured properly. Let's see. Okay, so it configured my uh, Ethernet, no problem at all. So, uh, but net, for as far as Wi-Fi, I don't have Wi-Fi on this machine, so I'm not expecting to see that. You got a volume control clock time and removable media. I do happen to have a 128 gig uh, USB flash drive inserted and open windows along the bottom. So it's actually a very nice, very nice uh, distribution. Once I took care of that uh, NVIDIA issue, now a lot, there, there are some uh, icons in the lower left. You've got the four uh, workspaces and then you've got terminal, SM Player, Thunderbird Mail, LibreOffice, GIMP, Procero, Web Editor, and Synaptic. So it's uh, configured for a uh, default uh, desktop, v nicely done, easy to get around. Uh, for a Windows user coming from Windows, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. No, uh, no confusion whatsoever. You can kind of figure out everything that's going on. Uh, as I said, the only issue is it's a little bit different on the uh, creation of the USB. But other than that, once you boot into it, the install is pretty straightforward. It's a typical Ubuntu install. Um, Kind of like a uh, LX or a Lubuntu, but it's the, it's the LXQT uh, desktop. So that is it for XTix, guys. Uh, I think this is the first time I've looked at XTix, but it's pretty nice. So uh, if you're looking for a simple, streamlined, clean, easy to use distribution uh, and relatively lightweight, you may want to give this a try. So guys, thanks for uh, stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.